As you may know, I made a video about CMOS gel and all of the benefits and the health claims that come along with it. Now since making that video, a lot of people have asked me if I know anything about bladderwrack, and I don't. I decided to look into bladderwrack and see if it's something that is worth including in my diet. Now, when I looked into it, bladderwrack is an iodine-rich seaweed found on the coast of the North Sea, the Western Baltic Sea, the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Now, to give you a little bit of a backstory, historically, people who lived close to the sea had lower rates of thyroid problems, mainly because they ingested more iodine-rich foods. These included seaweeds, and in fact, bladderwrack is one of the highest iodine-containing sea vegetables or plants known to man. It was recognised in the early 1800s for its high iodine content, and as such, it became widely used as a treatment for goiter, or swelling of the neck, due to an enlarged thyroid glands caused by iodine deficiency. By the 1860s, bladderwrack was also being used to counteract obesity by speeding up the metabolism, which is linked to your hormones. Research has shown that the antioxidants in bladderwrack promote collagen synthesis in the skin, which may help increase skin healing and delay premature skin ageing. It's also used a lot in anti-cellulite creams. Why? Bladderwrack is a natural diuretic. A diuretic is something which flushes your body of excess water. It's believed that it helps rid your body of fluid or excess fluid that builds up and causes cellulite. Now the question is this, should you try bladderwrack for yourself? It does look convincing, especially some of the claims made towards its benefits for helping people lose weight and get rid of cellulite. In the first phase of a two-phase study of applying bladderwrack extract to the skin, samples led to a 228% increase in collagen production, compared with no improvements in the control group. In the second phase, a mixture of bladderwrack extract and other algae extracts was tested on human upper leg skin for 12 weeks. Compared with the placebo product, the algae mixture led to a significant decrease in cellulite appearance and fat thickness. Other older studies using topical gels containing 1% bladderwrack extract were associated with an increase in collagen production. Now do note, none of these tests were done with people actually ingesting bladderwrack. These were all done with applying bladderwrack onto the skin itself. It does look convincing, especially some of the claims made towards its benefits for helping people lose weight and get rid of cellulite. But with anything else, if used in the wrong way, it can be dangerous. It goes without saying, consult a doctor before you go trying this, because the benefits may look amazing from the outset, and it is really easy to get hold of, but that doesn't mean it's going to be safe for you. Also, do not take this if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Your thyroid gland is very sensitive and it controls your hormones. If your hormone levels become unbalanced, then you can be in a world of trouble. You can experience things like your weight going up or down if your hormones are unbalanced. And that would explain why in the 1860s this was used as something to speed up the metabolism because speeding up the metabolism is something that's connected to your hormones and if you take this stuff and you don't know what you're doing then you could get the wrong amounts in high dosages especially you could be getting yourself into a bigger problem than the problem that you're trying to fix so do bear that in mind so thank you for watching do let me know in the comments below what your experience with bladder act has been like i'm very interested to know what other people out there have had experience wise with this. Is it something that you can compare with CMOS? Is it something that's as strong as CMOS? If you ingest it yourself or if it's something you only use on your skin? And what sort of effects have you had with it? Let me know in the comments below. So that will be my video for today. Leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.